All right, my Land Cruiser 100 has a code misfire P0305, which is cylinder number five misfiring. So let's take a look at it. So I'll show you the different cylinders. Um, number five is the third one on this side. So one, two, see the coil? Three. I suspect it's a coil. So what I want to do is switch the coils between number five and I think it's number one there and see if it follows that. Then we know it's a bad coil. So it's a 10 mil socket. You got this bracket here holding a bunch of hoses and wires. And now if it follows the coil, uh, coil number one will be a lot easier to change now. P03, which I believe stands for misfire, and then 05 is cylinder number five. So, so now it should change to P301. So if it follows when it changes the coil, then I know it's a bad coil. So basically the symptoms were, I started driving and I thought I had a flat tire. It just, something seemed way out of balance, but it's basically when you put a load on the engine, the whole engine shakes quite a bit. When I was idling, I didn't notice it too bad. When cruising, it was okay. As soon as you accelerate at a lower RPM, it really shook. At a higher RPM, it wasn't too bad either. A little port, a cover over a port that matches this. And there it is. So this was the old code, so let's erase this. Yes. All right, so now we have no code and it's linked and it should come up with, there's no DTCs, no code stored in the computer. So we just went for a ride, got home, pulled up the code, and now it's P0301. So it's following the coil, so I know I have a bad coil. What I'm going to do next is unplug the injector because we do need this vehicle tomorrow and I'm not gonna get the coil right away. There we go. So you can see, there we go, there's the injector. I unplugged it. That'll keep fuel from getting down into that cylinder. I'm going to order a new injector. Overnight parts from Japan. And then we'll have it fixed by uh, tomorrow. And I'll show you how I do that. New coil came in. All right, so let's see if it runs better. I replaced the OEM one with the local parts store and bought this one for 30, 40 bucks more. And it's not an OEM one. It's like no, some no name brand. So let's see if it works better. Oh, a hundred times better. It's fixed. We'll take a look for any, there's no pending code. You can see that. We'll see if it stays like that. But what's inside here? What do you think, Matt? Chocolate bars? Probably. This is what the inside of a coil looks like, which I find to be semi-interesting. Well, I hope that was useful. Quick, easy way to uh, test if your coil is the problem of your P03, uh, I guess it's one through eight codes. Hope this was useful and we'll see you on the next one.